Now let's add a timer to our UI. All right, so in this one timer, we need to go to our um, game manager. We need to add a variable public uh, actually let's go let's add the reference to the text timer text and then let's also get a public float timer All right, and so now let's create a new method and just call it void um, display time. First of all, we want to say if timer is less than zero and timer equals zero. We don't want to get it to be a negative number. Um, so now in order to do this timer, we can't, in order for it to show up right, we've got to do it a little bit different rather than just counting down from a, oh, excuse me, <laughs> rather than counting down from like a big number. So like, we could, if we wanted to, we could do, like if we want to do five minutes, that's 300 seconds. So we would just count down from 300 and that'd be pretty simple. We would just do like 300 uh, minus equals time dot delta time. Uh, but we want to break it down into minutes and seconds. So we need to do a float minutes equals math f floor do int and then just timer divided by we can't see it timer divided by 60 all right now we want to say float seconds equals math f floor to int timer the modulo, 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 however you say it, 60. Then we just want to say timer text dot text equals minutes all in zero. Should do it now. In the update, we got keep score and display time. So, in our game manager, we need to drag in the timer text and the timer we want to set to like let's do 300, like I said, five minutes. Oh wait, that's not right. That is not right. Yeah, sorry, we got it. We forgot one step. Got the first step. Say if timer is greater than zero.
timer minus equals time uh, delta time. And then now it's ticking down. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing and giving me a like as that really does help out with YouTube's algorithm. Thank you and duck bless.